It's been a it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Last video, we made this baby right here. Judge Dredd's helmet. I got to thinking, what is a judge without his lawgiver? I mean, how are you supposed to dispense justice without a sidearm? So let's go make a lawgiver. Hey, it's been a little while, I know. Look, I know. You can't rush perfection. And this is not perfection, but it is art. So don't don't rush me. I see you in the comments already. I know you I know you're there. Anyways, let's move on. First, how are we gonna make a login? Let's go to the let's go to the the old uh Internet? So what I did is I did some internet sleuthing and I found online. Now hold with me here. Online, there is a website called Planet Replicas. It's based out of the UK and they have the actual licensed 3D model parts that the prop makers use to build the actual prop. And they I'm telling you, they are the one, they are the real deal. They're like $8. You get them, you get 3D files, and then boom. And then you're halfway there. You, next, next. You gotta get yourself a Glock. Airsoft Glock, YouTube. Susan, it's it's an Airsoft, okay? You go on over to Amazon, find yourself a Glock Gen 3. Now it's specific. Glock 17 Gen 3 Airsoft Blowback Pistol, okay? Now, you don't have to go this far. I personally like to try to make my props functional. What I'm really looking for in this is I want that slide to, to rack itself. Whenever I pull the trigger, I want it to rack, okay? So I want it to slide, boom, boom, blow back. I want it to look real. Now, if you don't want to do the gas blowback, you want to save a little money, you can also find the 3D files for a Glock 17 base, and you can build yours around that. You don't have to do the gas blowback. That's just what I want to do. But if you want to do it some other way, then you can do it that way. So there you go. You've got your two parts. Let's get to printing. And uh, we'll wait for that Amazon package to show up. This is where the 3D printing footage would be. Garrett fucked up and deleted it. Instead, enjoy this stock footage of cats courtesy of TK Todd. I have printed all the parts, I assembled them, disassembled them, and figured out which ones I could glue together. Next, we are gonna do the 3D coat on top of that. The problem with these pieces is that they're pretty, they're pretty thin, so I think they need a little bit of strengthening up. So I'm gonna use that 3D skin to maybe give it a little bit of uh, stability in some of the places where it needs it. Once I've got all those pieces together, then it's really just giving it a paint job and uh, gluing it to the gun. I might have to actually screw in some pieces, but we'll see We'll get when we get to that point. I also need to think about that. If I don't do electronics now, uh, I might want to leave space so I can in the future. So I need to make sure that I put it together in a way that I can take it back apart so I can put in electronics like lights, uh, the little screen, that readout screen where it says the different type of ammunition he's using in the movie. I got to make sure that there's space for that. But other than that, let's get to the skins. All those moments will be lost in time. Like tears in the rain.
More sanding. More sanding. More. Stop. There we go. It has been sanded and painted. It's got its first coat of primer black on here. And I am noticing a lot of little imperfections and unsmooth surfaces. And you can see a little bit there. So I'm gonna go through the entire thing and kind of mark all of the areas that need to be sanded again and uh, smoothed down. But I got everything assembled. It's all assembled in here. There's, I put some pop screws up in there and uh, it's pretty solid. I still need to connect this back piece, the slide here, it, uh, it needs to be connected to this piece so it can move independently of uh, the rest of the body because this, gu this airsoft gun is a blowback airsoft gun so it will actually shoot this back and that's what I'm looking for. So I just need to do that and I got a little problem. Problem is, if I glue this, because that was my first thought, that I could just glue this thing together, glue this piece to here. But if I do that, I can't take this piece off. If I can, there, there. I can't take this uh, this piece off because it is basically a puzzle piece within itself. So once this is glued to the slide, I won't be able to take this off ever without breaking that, that seal, that glue seal. So I think I've got an idea of how to do it. I'm gonna take off this top plate. Hey! Hey! Snake, are you okay? Snake? Hey! Hey! Ah! All right, shut the door. There's a top plate here. Under this, there is the piece that I cannot remove if I glue it. And then there's this piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this top piece, drill a hole in this piece, so I can do do a screw through this top here. I'll drill another hole, put a screw in. And that way, it's solid, it's connected to the slide, but I can also remove it if I want to, because this is still a working airsoft gun and I'd like to keep it that way. So let's get to marking off these areas that need to be redone and uh you know sanding those things oh hi mark We're almost finished with this prop. All we gotta do is do the last bit of weathering and put on a little bit of those little uh, the little uh, details on the side, and then we're finished. Let's wrap this. Let's wrap this bitch up.
and boom, you got yourself a nice gas blowback lawgiver. Now you can run around your uh, your neighborhood and get the cops called on you uh, if you are irresponsible like I am. That didn't happen, officially. This actually took a lot less time than the helmet did. There's a lot less uh, finishing work that I had to do and I didn't have to fill in as much holes and divots and crap that I had to on the helmet. So this was actually a lot simpler. It was just 3D printing these parts. It was just making sure that the 3D print itself was strong enough and you know, I feel it feels pretty hefty. So if you printed the Glock itself instead of getting gas blowback, I myself would leave some vacant space in there where you could put some weight just to make it feel a little heftier. But for all intents and purposes, this is a a prop. It is it's pretty hefty and I, I'm I'm very happy with it. Let me know what you thought of my prop down in the comments below. Let me know what you think I should make next. It's kind of where I got the idea for this. I was already planning on it, but a lot of you guys actually said, hey, why don't you just do it? So I did it. It doesn't have to be Dread themed. I know I've got a couple, my two my two first videos here are, are Dread themed, so they don't have to be Dread themed. They can be other stuff. In fact, I'm working on another video. He's right here and I can't show you because he is not finished. He's all printed, but he's not put together yet. Um, but he is, he's getting there. So that's, I, I already have a couple of videos in the pipeline. So let me know what you think. Comment down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you liked it. You know, I don't know how to end these. How do you end a video? How have I forgotten how to end a video? Let me know what you like. Comment down below. Hit like.